Well, good evening, good evening, Lupus Warriors all around the world. And welcome to another video brought to you by the Loris Lupus and Support channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all of you. And so on tonight, um, as I contemplated before coming on to do this video, I thought about some things. And I thought about going a different direction with my videos, uh, especially on Sundays. And I hope that you guys will not mind this different direction on Sundays. And I hope that you will go with me. I want to inspire. That's always been uh, one of my, my reasons for doing videos, to inspire, to encourage you. And so on this channel, on the Loris Lupus and Support channel, you get a lot of different, you know, uh, you get a mixture of things. You get encouragement from time to time. You get information. You get inspiration. Um, you know, I bring you uh, videos containing, um, you know, lupus awareness, lupus facts. But I want to focus on Sundays more of the inspirational piece. And the inspirational piece as far as, you know, we say that we're on this lupus journey, in which we are. And on my videos, I always tell you guys that there is life after lupus, which is so true. That's a fact. And that, you know, how much God loves you and he loves you with all of his heart. And he has a plan and a purpose uh, for your life. And it involves you showing up as you. And that lupus is no surprise to him at all. Us having lupus, it didn't come as a shock to God at all. But irregardless of us having lupus, he still wants us to know that, you know, our lives still have meaning. It still has a purpose and it still has a plan. And so as we talk about this lupus journey, you know, we talk about this all the time. I got to thinking and contemplating, well, when you're on a journey, there's always a destination. There's always a final destination. Whenever you take a journey, you're not just wonderingly, you know, aimlessly around. You know, you have a plan. You, uh, a lot of times when you go on a, a journey, you have a, a map, you have directions, and you have a final destination. And so with this new direction that I'm taking, I want us to start really thinking about what is our final destination? What makes us get up every day, you know, to take on lupus head on? What keeps us going? You know, there has to be uh, something in which we're looking forward to in order to keep going. Because if we didn't have something better that we were looking forward to, most of us would have given up a long time ago. I know that I would. I would have. And so when I think about, you know, this lupus journey, I don't want it to be a journey in which we're just day by day, you know, just wandering around aimlessly. I want us to really consider, you know, what is the final destination? And I've talked about this many times, that what keeps me in the fight, what keeps me going, what stops me from giving up and throwing in the towel is that my destination, I wanted to include remission and healing. And so with the Loris Lupus and Support channel, you know, specifically on Sundays, I want to get us, you know, focus on that destination of healing and remission. And, you know, Put us in a positive frame of mind as far as what we're looking forward to, you know, giving us something to hold on to every day. And I don't want this to just be, um, I don't want to come to you with just empty words. I want to encourage your heart and I want you to keep, I want to keep you looking forward to that final destination of remission and healing. And so with this new approach to the Sunday night videos. I'm going to call it healing. What is it? I have it wrote down here. Healing moments with Laura. 
and it's still going to be a part of the Laura's Lucas and Support channel, but it's going to be under, you know, the title of Healing Moments with Laura. And on these videos of Healing Moments with Laura, I'm going to bring you either a scripture or I'm going to bring you a positive quote because I believe positive mindsets um, attracts positivity. I also believe that, you know, when we wake up in the morning, you know, hearing something positive sets our day. And before we go to bed at night, hearing something positive also, you know, makes our night um, a little bit more relaxing. It helps us to go to bed with something positive on our mind. And so for me, when I bring you these videos, it's going to be nighttime. And this is something that I do every night. Um, I read something positive before I go to bed. And it really does, you know, uh, help me to rest better. It puts me in a better place, a better frame of mind. Um, and for some of you, depending on what part of the world you're on, um, this may be a morning video for you. But also in the morning when I get up, I read something positive. That's the, that's the first thing that I reach for is something positive and it helps to set my day. It doesn't mean that negative things or, you know, um, things don't happen during my day. But when I start my day off positive, you know, it means that whatever comes my way, that I'm going to be in a positive mindset that I can handle it. And it doesn't trip me up. It doesn't get me off balance or um, it doesn't get me to thinking negative or that my entire day is going to be negative just because of one incident. You know, that negativity doesn't have that power over me. And so on tonight, I want to bring you a scripture uh, and I'll be reading from Psalms 91 verses 10 through 11. And I hope that this will encourage and bless your heart. And it says, no evil will befall me, neither shall any plague come near my dwelling. For you have given your angels charge over me. They keep me in all my ways. In my pathway is life, healing, and health. So just think about that for a moment. In my pathway, there is life, healing, and health. On my lupus journey, there's life, healing, and health. My final destination on this journey, I hope to arrive at healing and remission. But along this pathway, there's life, healing, and health. I hope these words will encourage and bless your heart. And so for me, um, it's nighttime. So as I prepare for bed, this is the final scripture that I'm going to read um, before I close my eyes and go to sleep tonight. And then I'll wake up in the morning and I'll reach for something else uh, positive. So I hope this will encourage you. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me on Healing Moments with Laura for tonight. And I'll talk to you all soon on the next video. Bye for now, my friends. Good night. Stay blessed.